уважаемые региональные координаторы, гости заседания комитета. Dear regional coordinators and the participants of the meeting, I suggest that we start our meeting. A few words about the organization of our event. Speakers with presentations for us to be able to see you. Please sit over there on this chair on the corner. Then uh, you will be captured by the camera and online participants will be able to see you as well. Uh, you can uh, switch uh, your presentations with your voice. We will have one coffee break at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, coffee will be served in the foyer and the open uh, part of our uh, meeting will last from 2 to 5 p.m. and then from 5 to 6 p.m. it will be a closed uh, regime. Now I would like to start the meeting from the report of Nenets Autonomous Okrek. The main topic of the General Assembly is uh, work that our Okrug has done uh, during the three years. Our region resumed its membership in 2015 after quite a long break. In the early 1990s, we were the members of the Northern Forum and then resumed our membership in uh, uh, 2015. In uh, 2018, in Krasnoyarsk, in General Assembly, we uh, took uh, the chairmanship, but uh, due to the pandemic, we chaired the organization for one year longer, because last year we didn't have a chance to hold the General Assembly. That's why we decided to postpone it uh, to 2021. We believe that uh, Nenets Autonomous Okrug was a quite an active chair of the Northern Forum. We uh, have conducted a number of significant events, uh, round tables uh, in uh, Iceland within the framework of uh, the uh, Arctic Circle. And then we also organized the second uh, summit of governors of the Northern Forum in 2018 in St. Petersburg. Uh, within uh, this uh, board of governors, we adopted the strategy of development of the Northern Forum until 2030, which uh, uh, defines the uh, principles and the objectives of uh, the organization's work for the future. And uh, the Northern Forum is supposed to become the center of uh, uh, Arctic and Northern uh, skills and competences and to uh, improve its efficiency at the world uh, arena. During our chairmanship, uh, we launched a grant granting tool in the Northern Forum and uh, two call for projects were organized in uh, 2018 and 19. So now any region can apply for uh, grant funding of up to 10,000 US dollars. By the results of the first call um, for projects, we chose uh, two uh, winners. Uh, business portal from Akureyri, Iceland, and Northern Sustainable Development Forum from Yakutia, Russia. Northern Sustainable Development Forum is the priority project of the Northern Forum and uh, was successfully organized in uh, 2019 and uh, 2020. One of the goals of the Northern Sustainable Development Forum is to promote the activities of the Northern Forum. In uh, 2021, we plan to hold the third one in Yakutsk also at the end of September. So I invite all our regions to be actively involved uh, in the work of this uh, uh, very uh, well-established platform. 
the second call for projects uh, gathered 50 applications and there were four winners juniors of the arctic uh, and uh, uh, ecological uh, arc from krasnoyarsk Krai, then a project from hantemansisk autonomous okrug and the uh, new cities on the old land uh, project from Nenets Autonomous Okrug. I would like to highlight that all these projects that were funded by the Northern Forum uh, that have been selected, they automatically became the priority projects of the Northern Forum. During our chairmanship, uh, we paid a lot of attention to um, uh, improving the activities of our working groups. All our 10 working groups are now well composed and um, during this General Assembly uh, we plan to add uh, two more groups. Uh, the new ones will be uh, on creative industries and interparliamentary cooperation in the Arctic and the North. As I have already said, during our chairmanship, uh, we have faced the COVID pandemic and uh, we were, uh, well, we had to um, use this uh, online technologies. Yes, of course, it is uh, difficult uh, to some extent, but we have gone through it and now we are good at uh, arranging our events uh, online but of course they cannot uh, uh, they cannot uh, be as good as uh, personal communication so now we are trying to somehow combine both formats personal and uh, online the northern forum is a platform for uh, exchanging experiences through which uh, uh, arctic uh, regions uh, exchange their best practices in all important uh, domains. And uh, during our chairmanship, we came up with some new ideas. At the beginning of uh, 2021, we launched a series of business meeting, Arctic Business Relations Circle, and uh, uh, they will be held uh, monthly. Also, we plan uh, a series of uh, meetings with Canadian regions to resume our cooperation on our project activities and to uh, uh, invite them to bring them back uh, to uh, their membership in the Northern Forum. And during the chairmanship of uh, the uh, Russian Federation in the Arctic Council, our organization was uh, asked to organize the Arctic uh, uh, Resilience Forum and um, uh, Arctic Energy Summit, and also the first conference of uh, chambers of uh, trade and commerce and business associations of Arctic and Northern regions. And summarizing the results of our chairmanship, I would like to thank all participants of the Northern Forum for their active involvement in the work of the organization. And also I would like to thank the Secretariat of the Northern Forum who has been very helpful during the entire period of our chairmanship. Uh, this year we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Northern Forum and we call upon all our member regions to organize uh, some events of different format that would be dedicated to this 30th anniversary. And the geography of our activities, uh, the idea of the governors who founded the Northern Forum has not changed. Uh, Strengthening the cooperation and uh, strengthening our links and ties through our um, cooperation. And we have a very good uh, prospects for growth and improvement of our legitimacy uh, global, globally. And uh, we have to strong uh, to have strong voice uh, of our regions. I have finished with my report. Thank you.
Uh, now I would like to Уважаемые коллеги, позвольте поприветствовать вас. Благодарю. So uh, the year 2021 has been uh, practiced by the UN uh, in all creative industries. And so we believe that our activities will uh, promote the uh, sphere on the international arena. So in Yugra, we have uh, planned several events. Also, our activity includes uh, the uh, International Congress of India, focusing on the adaptation to change in climate. So, uh, it's also the uh, International Video Congress uh, of the Peace Movement, so on uh, protecting the so there is a new nomination for the stream, the river of the river, that we expect to see members from all modern uh, foreign countries and the African country countries. So we hope that you are going to our initiative. Also during the general assembly, uh, we are uh, a number of very important uh, resolutions and uh, I can assure you that we are going to stop the is given to Anatoly Tsukala, Deputy Chief of the Government from Krasnoyarskrai. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I am glad that the, the pandemic now is uh, reducing. We can meet some of our colleagues and we can um, discuss Issues and our practices. And first of all, I would like to give you the government, the government of the fact that we are together today on the one hand, it's a report on what has been done and uh, maybe some the review of our uh, So all the restrictions during the pandemic and we have achieved uh, some benefits as well. So I would like to uh, tell you about one success story. Uh, it arises from the example uh, of Dostoevsky. It involved uh, the operation problem. But uh, it uh, and we signed uh, in February uh, the agreement and started the implementation of the largest in the post Soviet uh, Russia project on and economic uh, the city of Minsk, which is the largest. Uh, so we have developed a comprehensive plan. Uh, which is based on the wishes uh, and needs of the people of uh, Narita. So the budget is uh, the owner of this committee agreed uh, to award another 150 rubles. So uh, until 2035, it will be an unprecedented uh, project uh, of the uh, 
in the project, uh, there will be uh, more small areas developed, the health transport and community infrastructure will be replaced. So I think that one of the forum meetings uh, also, we have uh, another initiative from the Northern Star Company. So, so, they address the government, and this initiative was supported by the government. So, so this project is on the renovation of Dixon, which is the northmost uh, town in Krasnoyarsk. We believe that these uh, young efforts of uh, the government and business is a very good example, and it can be also promoted on the forum. And another form of success, uh, which was supported from the federal government as well, is the, um, the active zone of the higher sky uh, became larger last year. And now, and so now uh, uh, more people have these um, favorable conditions some and can enjoy some benefits that provided to uh, residents. About 70% of Krasnaya's time uh, uh, lies uh, in the Arctic zone. So uh, now uh, Krasnaya's sky uh, is heard by the territory the Arctic territory in the National Federation. So we do a lot to support the uh, indigenous people of the North. So we have uh, one probably most funded program. Uh, the funding of this uh, program uh, increased eightfold recent funds. So uh, we have 800 million rubles for uh, support. Also, recently we had a conference uh, with 23 regions where indigenous people and the resolution adopted at this conference in Krasnoyarsk So we uh, Another initiative of this, the uh, ethnic uh, village. So this initiative uh, uh, will help to create new jobs and uh, let the people in residential areas uh, to make money. So instead of like just giving, donating money, uh, we can promote some business activities. And so I think that uh, the Northern Forum grants uh, can be um, can be given uh, to projects like this, not like ethnic ethnic uh, museums, but uh, villages. And also recently in Krasnoyarsk, uh, during the economic forum. Uh, one of the initiatives uh, was to prepare uh, the representatives from indigenous people to work uh, at some important uh, international platforms, like including the United Nations. So we now have the support from the Ministry of the uh, Russian Police uh, and the Russian Arctic Development. So to prepare so-called like people's uh, diplomats 
from indigenous people in all. So again, our uh, CHI can serve as the platform for such a training. So the main uh, results of our work so first of all, we focus on tradition and uh, also to moving forward. So I feel that I have uh, but more, uh, I wish you most productive work and uh, members of such an important international organization. Our proposal is uh, um, work on the modern forum, and we will be glad to uh, host any meeting, any modern forum meeting. Now, before we begin to be Kirillian, we need to put external relations and access to this kind of public media. Uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, regional coordinators of the Northern Forum, people who are uh, in Myanmar, in the capital of uh, Nunezat which is uh, an important member of the Northern Forum, and we heard David on the uh, change. He supports the initiatives in the Forum. And the talk of the government, let me greet all the participants of the General Assembly. So, Republic of Kuti is one of the active uh, members of the Northern Forum, and and the development of the Arctic is obviously one of the priorities of our and uh, the Republic uh, cooperate uh, with, the, with the Northern Forum on a regular basis. And so uh, we assist uh, in uh, organizing uh, the work of uh, the working groups uh, which aim at improving the standards of the population. And one uh, one of the projects we are involved in is the Northern Forum Sustainable Development Forum in Yakutsk. And I believe that the Northern Forum uh, developed important initiatives uh, which uh, enhance the living of people in the North. So this year, the Northern Sustainable Development Forum will be held on September 30, and we'll focus on the climate change and uh, preservation of thermophiles. So the Northern Forum is a platform uh, to exchange uh, practices and find solutions for common problems and to develop uh, long-term uh, development programs. So the Arctic uh, agenda is present in all the strategies of uh, Arctic states, and uh, it includes uh, better living conditions and preservation of nature. And the priority for the government of the Sahara Republic of Yakutia will be uh, the uh, in the Russian chairmanship in the Arctic Council. So, uh, our Republic has already made some, uh, proposals and initiatives, and over 10 of them uh, have been supported already. And uh, we hope that all the events that we have uh, initiated will be held uh, on a high level. So this year, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Northern Forum and uh, the Sahara Republic of Yakutia is glad to uh, uh, celebrate this event. And the Northern Forum is another example of uh, 
the cooperation between governments and uh, regions and various uh, communities. So we are open for any proposals for cooperation in the Arctic, uh, basing on mutual interests uh, and uh, respect. Thank you. Thank you. And the floor is given to Natalia Sligina, happy to have office of international cooperation and Arctic affairs department from the autonomous Okrug governor and government office. Of the governor of Chukotka. I would like to greet everyone and to thank the secretariat uh, of the Novum Forum for all the assistance and for bringing uh, um, new life to our projects. Our joint work uh, in the Novum Forum has shown that our joint efforts. Uh, can uh, expand uh, the Arctic Council agenda. Uh, Chukotka now is going in the roadmap uh, of the Arctic Council, and we have a cinema festival, and we have various conferences, and we also have a festival in the Bering Creek area. So we invite all the participants to join uh, to join our uh, events. Thank you. So next meeting is from Iceland from Akureyri. So the floor is given to Hilda Hermann's daughter. Da Hilda, vam slova. So Hilda, the floor is yours. Yes, hello, thank you. Do you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Oh, good. Um, dear colleagues uh, and friends of the Arctic, to uh, begin with, let me congratulate us all on the 30th uh, anniversary of the Northern Forum. This uh, international organization has an important meaning for us and our society and the municipality of Akureyri is sincerely proud of uh, being a part of this important work. Uh, our cooperation has been and will always have a great importance on all levels. The municipality of Akureyri has since 2002 been uh, a member of the Northern Forum and we have participated, for example, by hosting all kinds of events like the Re Regional uh, Coordinators Committee the meeting in 2014 and uh, Youth Echo Forum, which was uh, uh, has been fruitful e events. It has been held in Akure two times, 2005 and 2019. And let's not, not forget that Arctic Portal, which has a great role in the uh, Northern Forum work, is located here in Akure, which is surely important. And I would like to thank you, Halter, for your good work for the organization. Um, for the last two years, Iceland has held the chairmanship of the uh, Intergovernmental Forum Arctic Council. Uh, there we have put emphasis, amongst other things, on sustainable future in the Arctic, the marine environment, green energy solutions, and promoting the well-being of people living in the Arctic. Next month, the ministerial meeting of the Arctic Council will be held in Iceland. And at that meeting, it's uh, your turn, my friends in Russia. Then Iceland will hand over its chairmanship to you. And I know that you will continue the good work and make the Arctic Council even stronger than before. Uh, dear friends of the Arctic, Last but not the least, I would like to thank sincerely both Vladimir Vasiliev and Dariana Maximova at the Northern Forum, and of course, all the staff at the uh, Northern Forum. But I mention those two here since they are the ones I'm in contact with. Uh, and I would like to thank you guys for your excellent work in difficult times of uh, COVID. Uh, the team of the Northern Forum staff is powerful under a focused lead on your behalf, Mr. Vladimir Vasiliev, 
Uh, I'm sure that Northern Forum will play an important play, an important role in the Russian chairmanship at Arctic Council. Uh, I hope this meeting of the Regional Coordinators Committee will be fruitful and make it possible for us to furthermore strengthen our cooperation and friendship. And uh, once again, I congratulate us all on the great 30 year history of Northern Forum and my best wishes to all of you from Akureyri. Thank you. Thank you, Hulda. Now I would like uh, to give the floor to Raima Holster, Minister Director for International Cooperation from Lapland Region. Raima is joining us in 30 minutes. Thank you. Well, then I give the floor to Evgenia Barishnikova, Deputy Director of External Relations Department from Yamal Nenets Autonomous Okrug. Uh, good afternoon, dear participants of the meeting. Good afternoon. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Our region uh, has been the member of the Northern Forum since 1996, and we have been uh, active uh, in, uh, in many uh, projects, uh, both uh, on the governmental level and on the uh, non-governmental level. So Northern Forum is a unique uh, international platform which contributes to the promotion of uh, cooperation of the Arctic and Northern Territories. And the 30th anniversary of this organization is a good occasion to um, make conclusions and also to outline um, the plans for the future. So the organization uh, has managed to switch successfully to this hybrid uh, format of cooperation. And also uh, now we have the youth uh, Northern Forum. So today the Northern Forum uh, faces new challenges and uh, I'm sure that we will uh, overcome them uh, together. So the Arctic uh, regions they prove to be the territories of productive cooperation. And they uh, serve as an example of um, constructive dialogue. And I'm sure that today we will be able to outline our joint vision of the Arctic. And set uh, new ambitious plans. Евгения Владимировна, вас не было слышно. Вы не было слышно. Вы закончили? So I, are you done? Because we cannot hear you. Thank you very much.
Да. So we are done uh, with the greetings from the region, and uh, Raina joins us, and, uh, and uh, we will give now him the floor. I would like to so that's why give I'm giving the floor to the floor acting, to the, uh, executive, acting director executive director of the Northern, the Northern Forum, uh, Vladimir uh, Vasilev, who is going to speak about the about development the prospects for the Northern Forum. Thank you, Mr. Kungurtsov, dear regional coordinators, dear participants of the General Assembly. I would like to briefly tell you about our major plans and development prospects. From the report of our chair, uh, Mr. Kungurtsov, we can see that during the chairmanship of Nenets Autonomous Okrug, in spite of uh, some difficulties related not only to COVID-19, but also to the change of the Okrug's governor. Uh, a lot of work has been uh, conducted. And uh, using this opportunity, I would like to uh, thank uh, the uh, leadership of the Okrug for their active work and support of our activities. We have adopted the strategy of our development until 2030, and we have laid a good basis to secure the dynamic development for the decade ahead. And uh, these days we are going to adopt the action plan on the implementation of the strategy that has three roadmaps. It is important that the General Assembly takes place uh, in the year of the organization's 30th anniversary, and uh, it's the beginning of the new stage. That is why we uh, propose to uh, change the logo of the Northern Forum, showing that we have to change the polar night to the polar day, so it's like the more light in our future. And uh, again, we would like to again sincerely thank you, the regions, the business partners, and the friends of the Northern Forum, not to doubt uh, our um, capacities. So how do we see the future of international interregional cooperation within the Northern Forum? Uh, all together with you, we have uh, done a great work uh, since last year. We didn't cancel the second uh, Northern Sustainable Development Forum. We held it online. And uh, we have mastered the technologies of uh, uh, arranging online events and uh, brought a lot of attention. Uh, we launched the creation of uh, Northern Youth Forum and um, uh, strengthened our cooperation with the Arctic Council. Also, we uh, reconsidered all our activities and uh, improved the, the structure of the organization. So what is ahead of us uh, during uh, this uh, next uh, cycle of chairmanship? In the materials uh, prepared for the assembly, you can see the work plan and uh, the action plan, so I will be very brief. So first of all, we have to do a lot of work to create the brand book of the Northern Forum by the world standards, because we have to position the mission, goals, and objectives of the organization, and to uh, broaden our regional and uh, business membership. So we have to create uh, our own recognizable and attractive image and style. In compliance with our development strategy, we have to improve the structure, introducing the Institute of Goodwill Ambassadors, then uh, Youth Northern Forum. We have to think about the financial instrument. That's why we are Mm, proposing to establish the foundation of the Northern Forum. Then we have to regulate and systematize the activity of working groups and to improve our uh, secretariat staff. Because now we have uh, much more work and uh, still the same uh, number of people working in the secretariat. Uh, the introduction of uh, goodwill ambassadors of the Northern Forum uh, 
uh, will allow us to uh, use the capacities of some well-known people who wish to uh, actively assist the development of interregional cooperation and to improve our uh, recognizability and to consolidate business and expert uh, communities. Thirdly, we have to very well celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Northern Forum. Uh, we, well, uh, according to our strategy, we have to publish three books, and I'm not sure whether we are going to be able to do it, but uh, we ask all regions to organize some events dedicated to, to this uh, anniversary, and also to help the Secretariat to identify all people who have been involved in our activities. And we will be very thankful if you could submit all these materials to us before August 1. Then we are going to uh, organize a gala event dedicated to the anniversary within the uh, Northern Sustainable Development Forum in Yakutsk in uh, late September. Also, maybe we could organize a special purpose uh, cultural program in Reykjavik within the Arctic Circle. Uh, uh, for example, if each region could bring some uh, performance and then we would also organize some uh, um, uh, northern cuisine event, then uh, uh, such event would, of course, improve our rating and uh, broaden our, um, our membership of our organization. But, uh, of course, it depends on the uh, epidemiological situation. Uh, recently, we have heard the International Forum Arctic, the Territory of Dialogue, will be held in 2021 and 2023. So we will follow the situation. Uh, currently, together with the Arctic portal, we are um, updating our website where we will have some uh, additional uh, sections dedicated to our anniversary and project activity and business cooperation, of course. And we would be very thankful for any content, for any materials that we could be posted on the website. Uh, and of course, it would be great to involve uh, um, media as our permanent information partners in the region. Fourthly, we will uh, set uh, the development of our business cooperation as a um, priority. You have noted that our business uh, partner from Alaska, Arctica Company, uh, we launched a series of online business meetings on different topics. And uh, we are confident that uh, such meetings, as well as the involvement in um, uh, major international events in this domain, like uh, this uh, first uh, conference of uh, chambers of trade and commerce, uh, and the establishment of the Arctic Business uh, Portal and the Northern Forum Foundation and the international brand made in the Arctic. All these arrangements will uh, allow to establish efficient cooperation, not only in the Arctic and the North, but also with some Southern regions. We will pay great attention to our uh, project activities our working groups, they have not been uh, very well engaged in the process. Such working groups as education and science and the environment and uh, preservation of biodiversity and the working group on culture are being active, unlike the other ones. We are very thankful to Ms. Kamarova, the governor of Hante Mansisk Autonomous Okrug, and the uh, State Assembly of uh, Yakutia, uh, represented by Mr. Gubarev, for creating uh, new working groups on the creative industry and um, uh, interparliamentary cooperation. I hope that uh, this year we will um, uh, restore the activities of all working groups. And uh, those groups who cannot restore their activities, probably they will uh, change their status to the passive one. Uh, 
Uh, as long as we don't have uh, a lot of uh, available funds, uh, we will spend uh, our uh, funds on our anniversary events. We will have to um, start this granting uh, competitions uh, starting next year. We have to uh, improve our work on cooperating with our partners and international organizations. In March, we signed the uh, agreement uh, on cooperation with uh, an interregional uh, science and technology business and educational partnership. And also we have uh, previous agreements, including the agreement with the University of the Arctic, but now we have to put them in practice and uh, it will be done shortly. We hope to establish cooperation with Barnes Regional Council, where Nenets Autonomous Okrug is going to be the chair. It is very great to see the interest uh, from the uh, Northeastern uh, Association of uh, Regional Governments. And uh, I hope that the Secretary General of the organization, uh, um, Mr. Kim ok is present at the assembly. I think that we also should sign an agreement between our organizations. The Northern Forum has accreditation at the uh, UNEP and uh, used to have the observer status uh, at the sector of non-government organizations of the United Nations. We uh, should not stay within the Northern Hemisphere. We should bring our opinion and position to the entire world. And coming to the conclusion, I have to say that our major priority is to strengthen and develop cooperation with the Arctic Council. We have to become a real partner of the Arctic Council, but uh, I will uh, tell about it in more detail at the Board of Governors. But briefly, on uh, April 20. One, there was um, a panel discussion with the observers of the Arctic Council, and the Northern Forum was um, one of the three uh, observers who were invited to speak, and we are very proud for it. And uh, we spoke about our activities, and we said that we want to become some sort of regional council of the Arctic Council. And we hope that uh, during the Russian chairmanship, we will continue consultations uh, with the uh, Arctic Council. No, thank you, Vladimir. And uh, so, now let's, uh, let's switch to our working group. So we have Raima. So now I'm giving the floor and, uh, to I would Raima like to uh, give the floor to the, uh, Raima Lapland Foster Regional from the Council. Regional Council of Lapland. Sorry, sorry, I had uh, another meeting and a uh, wrong time in my calendar, but but now I'm I'm joining joining the meeting and greetings from Roa in is Lapland uh, and and hello everyone. Um, I can say something, something our situation here. Winter uh, has slow, uh, slowly turned uh, into spring and, and uh, uh, we are ca coming soon. We are ex expect, uh, expected uh, with hope to coming, coming summer. Uh, the situation in COVID-19 has been calm and well. Uh, well, in uh, well controlled in Finland and especially in Lapland, uh, the exceptional uh, circumstances ended in this week in Finland, and, uh, so the situation is quite good, and then we are uh, we are uh, the risk, uh, re uh, restrictions are, are gradually being uh, lifted. Schools uh, are mainly normal uh, teaching, restaurants, and, and uh, uh, various leisure activities are opened now. Uh, business uh, is recovering, flights are increasing, and uh, tourism is uh, recovering. During the last year, uh, tourism in Lapland has uh, 
uh, remained uh, up uh, up uh, like the uh, thanks to domestic tourism uh, vacations uh, uh, processing uh, with uh, with uh, very well hopefully everything will be in reasonable normal situation after the summer and finally i can stay, uh, say that the board of the regional council of lapland uh, accepted uh, a possible uh, chairmanship of, of lapland in of northern forum for the coming term and sorry sorry i'm late because of my my mistake uh, in, in the calendar Thank you very much, Raimo. Now we have uh, 10 working groups in the Northern Forum and uh, during uh, during uh, the, this assembly we will have more. And now I will give the floor to Mr. Isakov, who is going to speak about the new Northern Forum Creative Industry Working Group. Uh, dear colleagues, I would like to uh, greet you on behalf of Ms. Kamarova, the governor of uh, Ukraine, all, and like uh, uh, from, from me personally. The world is changing, and uh, this global economic downturn uh, has uh, boosted uh, the development of new technologies and the arctic, arctic is of course ahead of all these of changes, changes the arctic. arctic is so now arctic uh, making a new page uh, in its history and it is becoming one page. of the centers yeah. of technological so growth the of the and, uh, the and the future uh, of, uh, development of the uh, arctic and projects, the implementation uh, of large-scale uh, projects uh, uh, requires uh, uh, good coordination uh, of uh, uh, and business uh, and government So uh, the uh, post-coronavirus world and creative industries are very closely related. Creative industry, как экономика нового типа, лишены этих недостатков. Они действительно могут помочь людям реализовать себя. So creative industries can really help people to uh, express their creativity without any restriction, and they can do that even uh, remotely, uh, regardless of the epidemiological situation. So uh, we have been working on the development of creative industries since 2018, when we uh, adopted the strategy of the creative industry development uh, uh, in Yugra up to 2025. So we have uh, uh, established the association of uh, creative industries, first in Pittsburgh and then in Hunting Manchi. And last year, uh, we uh, adopted uh, legislation regulating creative industries. So now we are working on uh, uh, improving uh, our uh, creative industries into UNESCO's network. So the, the creative industry priority project uh, uh, aims at, um, at involving 10,000 people by the year 2025 into creative industry. So, uh, Last year, we initiated the establishment of Northern Creative Industry Working Group. So the aim of this group is to promote creative industries in the Northern Forum and um, the integration of uh, the events to develop the creative industries in the North. So the main uh, task of the working group is to create a favorable environment new ideas, new knowledge, and uh, to eliminate uh, the obstacles uh, in the creative industry. And to help uh, children and young people with uh, the expression of their creativity. 
and also to promote the uh, vending of uh, various goods in, uh, in the And during the General Assembly, uh, we are hoping to, uh, to continue the uh, planning of our working group. And in June, during the IT uh, forum in Hedemansi, we are planning to have our first meeting of our working group. And so uh, we invite you to join our working group. And looking into the future, we don't talk about our plans. So in July, in July, we are going to have uh, the uh, racing, uh, the rowing competition. So the first tournament was held in 2001. And in 2015, uh, this uh, rowing competition has become the international one. So uh, this is uh, rowing uh, our traditional uh, boats. It's a very uh, important uh, event, uh, and also it's uh, a platform for uh, people from uh, Hungary, from uh, other uh, Finnish, Euboric countries. Uh, so, and I invite you to take part in this competition. Also, we have another event uh, coming. Uh, the cinema festival, the Spirit of Fire, and uh, due to the Russian Championship in the Arctic Council in 2021 And since uh, we are having the uh, creative uh, business uh, year, so now we have uh, a new nomination during the festival for best uh, debutant uh, directors from the Arctic Council countries. So you can also join this uh, festival. Also, uh, the governor uh, of Yugra, Natalia Kamarova, initiated the seventh uh, International uh, Reindeer Herders uh, Congress. Uh, which is included in the, the calendar of the Russian uh, chairmanship in the Arctic Council. And I also invite you to join the Congress, the Reindeer Herders Congress. So it will be the platform for exchanging best practices in reindeer husbandry, and which is going to uh, bring together hundreds of uh, deputies from many countries. And to share the experience of indigenous uh, people of the North. The preservation of uh, the indigenous heritage and uh, about uh, other um, historical events, uh, we have uh, another platform. Uh, the North for the Victory. It's a new uh, view on the history of the World War II through the eyes of the indigenous peoples of the North. Uh, this photo is going to present the rich heritage of Hanty, Manti, uh, Nancy people, and other um, unknown pages of uh, their contribution into the Great Victory. So, uh, before the 9th of May, this very important uh, date for all of us, uh, this uh, portal uh, becomes even more significant. And so using this opportunity uh, before the uh, 30th uh, anniversary of the Northern Forum, I would like to invite you to come to Yugra in December. And I do believe that only together we can uh, turn the Arctic into the territory of peace and cooperation, and we'll be glad to cooperate on any of uh, our projects which I have told you about. And we will always be glad to see you uh, in Yugra. So another new group uh, on parliamentary cooperation and it will be uh, presented by Viktor Gubarev, Deputy Chair of the State Assembly of the Sahara Republic. Uh, 
a distinguished uh, participant uh, of the meeting. Let me, on behalf of the State Assembly Intimate of the Sahara Country, be put here uh, from the legislative bodies of the Russian Federation uh, and initiator uh, of the uh, Parliamentary Cooperation Working Group in the Arctic. Uh, greet you. And I would like to thank you for your productive work uh, for developing interregional cooperation. So the decision to establish this uh, parliamentary cooperation working group uh, was uh, made after the second uh, Northern Sustainable Development Forum. After uh, we have, uh, after we discussed uh, a wide range of uh, legislative issues. So I would like to show you a presentation. Yeah, Да, сейчас попробуем uh, исправить. Так. Well, uh, we cannot hear and we will try to, uh, to solve this. Был звук? Нет? Нет. А вы сами слышите звук, да? Мы сами слышим звук. Здесь, наверное. Да, да. Все, дубль три. Слышите звук? Слышим. Хорошо, спасибо. Сейчас сначала включу. Двадцать девятого сентября две тысячи двадцатого года прошла первая парламентская сессия правовые аспекты жизнеобеспечения и устойчивого развития северных и арктических территорий международного северного uh with uh, many legislative um, people present and, uh, various officials from the region uh, from the federal authorities uh, pointed out the importance of the uh, contribution of regional uh, legislators. And the main thing uh, is, again, uh, better living conditions and development of infrastructure in the Arctic and what legislators can do to improve it. So um, the representatives from various uh, regions, they um, talked about uh, the legislative initiatives uh, 
on various uh, issues, including the collection of mammoths and uh, other uh, mammoth human remains. Alexander Lutovina from the uh, Nenek Autonomous Okrug told uh, about the initiative uh, on uh, the uh, disposal of uh, solid waste in the Arctic. A representative from Krasnoyarsk uh, talked about uh, the necessary changes uh, in the legislation to improve the transport infrastructure. So, and uh, the uh, participants of the session have uh, adopted the resolution. Also, the uh, decision was made to establish a parliamentary cooperation working group. Спасибо. Продолжая разговор, слайд номер два. Хотелось бы сейчас увидеть. Некоторых участников. То stimulate the uh, inter-regional cooperation and some of the tasks to establish this uh, permanent platform for the parliamentary work in the regions to support various uh, important projects in uh, the development of the parliamentary activity to exchange best uh, regional practices and also joint participation in their events. So I'm, I'm going to uh, speak about uh, this task in more detail. So the uh, permanent platform. So, the Arctic uh, is in the focus of the Russian social and economic development. In uh, 2025, uh, there's uh, important uh, documents uh, have uh, were adopted for the sustainable development of the Arctic. So uh, these uh, laws are adopted on the federal level, uh, and uh, the regional uh, parliamentary workers can also participate in these processes. So we need to have this platform to exchange our uh, practices and our experience uh, in developing various documents, uh, legislative documents. So now there is a strategy of the Arctic development uh, until 2035 and the uh, strategy of the Arctic development and uh, the strategy of ensuring uh, national uh, safety. So uh, there will be uh, several amendments introduced uh, on the sanitary and environmental uh, safety of people on uh, natural resources, on uh, indigenous peoples, on the participation of indigenous peoples, on um, in uh, making decisions on industrial exploration of their regions. One of the achievements is the uh, development of the standard of the uh, 
uh, corporate responsibility of uh, businesses. Uh, so our, on our social project, so what are the areas of potential cooperation? So our working group is ready to provide any methodological support and um, to the projects and initiatives uh, aimed at development of uh, Arctic uh, parliamentarism. So we are glad that the Northern Sustainable Development Forum has uh, this uh, has this session, uh, the parliamentary session. We uh, hope that this forum as a platform for cooperation will uh, help us to discuss the issues on uh, the development of legislative, legislative um, cases. And we hope that uh, it is going to be one of the important uh, sessions of the forum. So here we see the uh, list of the uh, working group members. And we hope that our colleagues from uh, Iceland and from Iceland uh, will also uh, will join our working group. And so we thank uh, those uh, who have already joined us and we have started uh, the exchange of ideas. And I think that this list uh, will be expanding. So we hope that uh, until September, we will have something uh, developed already. So our parliamentary session will take place during uh, the Northern Sustainable Development Forum in September. And a few words about uh, our plan for 2021. So first is uh, holding several meetings. Developing the uh, set of measures of ensuring benefits for people living in the north. So there will be a report on social guarantees um, uh, to people who live in the Arctic zone, uh, some regulations on the adaptation to the climate change, uh, especially uh, preservation of permafrost. Our Republic has uh, good experience in this. We have the only uh, in the world Institute of Permafrost. Also on, on adaptation to climate change. You know that there is uh, the national plan uh, to, of adaptation to the climate change, and which also requires some regulatory basis. And uh, it applies to the areas of permafrost. So, of course, we are going to work on uh, preparing and holding the parliamentary session during the third uh, forum. Sustain, sustainable Development Forum. So we would like to uh, uh, hold this session uh, offline. So this was a brief uh, information. And uh, I think that uh, this gives you uh, uh, some food for thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for information. And I would like to go to some a new uh, direction. 
uh, Mr. Vasiliev mentioned in his uh, report that uh, for our project activities, we need some financial help. And so uh, Haldar Johansson is going to talk uh, on the Northern Forum Fund. So Haldar, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all. It's a um, pleasure to see so many friends still active within the Northern Forum. And um, I would also like to thank Hulda for her kind words and her remarks. Um, as um, Sergei just uh, mentioned, we have been preparing a proposal that you have um, now all hopefully reviewed on the Northern Forum Foundation on the establishment of a non-profit organization with cross-border activities. And we propose it to be registered in Aquarius. Let me see. No, there's nothing happening. Oh, there we go, sorry. Wonders of technology sometimes. Well, the Arctic Portal, we've been business partners and uh, uh, project uh, developers within the Northern Forum for a long time. And uh, this is amazing. And we know uh, a lot about the um, activities of the Northern Forum. We know a lot about what's happening in the North and in the Arctic. And uh, we recognize the potential of the Northern Forum uh, with special regards to the uh, responsible governance, advocating for env environmental respect and green actions, training and educating uh, our youth, empowering innovation and sustainable business development for the benefit of our societies. I want to... Um, show you a few slides that I, I think are very important to our discussion and put everything in context uh, and also in relations to what has been said before. We all know of the program of, of Russia uh, as the chair of the Arctic Council coming up, responsible governance for sustainable Arctic. And I think those are key words. And as, as Vladimir mentioned before, it's very important that we uh, have strong co collaboration with the Arctic Council. We are looking to secure cooperation and long-term approaches for the sustainable future. And all of this has to be based on knowledge for responsible decision-making. But to achieve all of this, it needs uh, strategic actions and then of course funding. Please allow me to show you this diagram. Some of you have seen it before, but I, I believe it puts together a, a, a lot of the things that we want to achieve. So we have, the people and the societies in the center. We have uh, those bubbles floating around. Of course, the, the center of it is culture and education, in my belief. But then we have business on one hand and science on the other hand. And all of this is connected through policy and uh, all of this has to somehow respect and, and support the environment that we all live in and, and uh, we, we have to use for our uh, existence. So the key, regional cooperation and education at all levels. We have to preserve and engage our people and peoples, the youth, and uh, preserve our cultural heritage. For this all, we need project support instruments. We need information and data. We need to be able to integrate it and share it to increase our knowledge. And uh, to make all of this happen, we need funding mechanisms. And we need to be able to look at long-term approaches. Uh, Sergey mentioned before some of the projects that have been uh, initiated, but of course, this is very small money and we need to be able to do it in a more long-term approach. So we have to engage external actors. We have to uh, be actively involved in inter international cooperation and we have to be very careful to, to um, enhance the Arctic image to the benefit of the people and societies through the uh, work of the Northern Forum. So how do we do that? I think one of the most important strategic goals of the Northern Forum is to promote cooperation. 
So we have uh, the Arctic Council, as mentioned, uh, Arctic Economic Council is another very important partner that we have to work with. And then, of course, University of the Arctic for the educational part and collaboration at multiple levels. And we have to engage, engage the business partners, as the Arctic Portland and others, of course. So promote and engage regional cooperation, education, culture, business development, Arctic finance, encouraging innovation, external relations, the Arctic limits. These are the key issues. And for all of that, we need funding. So we've been looking at how to ensure the financial sustainability of the Nordic Forum. How can we uh, get past this, this limiting progress that we have been feeling over the years because of the lack of, of, of continuous funding? And um, of course, the, the uh, fees that are coming in are, are limited and we want to be able to look beyond that. So uh, we've been looking at, at alternative ways and we have looked at the experiences of other organizations and financial institutions as how they've been uh, finding uh, funding. And we know from the slides before, one thing that I didn't mention, of course, but you saw in the background of the Arctic Council, that the interest of our region is increasing. We know that there's a lot of interest in Asia, for example, towards our region. We know that there's a lot of interest in Europe towards our region and, and so forth. So the global interest is only increasing. So how can we utilize that for our uh, benefits? So we've been looking at the legal opportunities and the potential place of registration for a, a fund that could help uh, attract financing to the Northern Forum. So Iceland has a very clear and favorable law. This was. Um, uh, established in, in the end of 2019 for the registration of non-profit organizations that are established or operate for the purpose of collecting or distributing funds in the public interest across borders. So international foundations, non-profit foundations. I believe this is the best way forward for the Northern Forum. And uh, the um, objective of, of this law is to support uh, charities and, and uh, that deal with, with religion, culture, education, social affairs, etc. Uh, the Director of International Review uh, Revenue sorry, um, is the register for, for such uh, associations. And uh, initial documents must be must be submitted to the uh, official uh, tax authorities through the public charity register. So, based on a review, we propose to you, the Committee of Regional Governors, to establish a legally registered, a non for profit. Uh, sorry, establish a legally registered, a non for profit organization, the Northern Forum Foundation, in Akureyri, Iceland. It is to focus on fundraising for, from uh, private and public sources in a global context. This is very important. We have to look at it in a global context. But of course, it has to work by the merits of the Northern Forum organization. So uh, you have received the um, proposed articles of association plus uh, explanations, but I would still like to use this opportunity to run through them and point out what I believe are the uh, main uh, issues for the purpose and the objectives. So the purpose is to raise funding, fund and support activities and projects that benefit sustainable development and better living for the people and peoples of the North and their societies. And this is basically all of us. And this is to include, of course, education, cultural innovation, responsible business development, etc. And it has to be as per the objectives and the strategy of the Northern Forum organization. So it's not a competitive uh, instrument, it's a support instrument that will be governed and, and used as per the uh, objectives and strategy of the Northern Forum. This is very important. So it's up to you how it's being will be utilized, but it's a vehicle that can be used. So how to achieve the objectives? Uh, as I mentioned before, the objective is to raise funds based on its merits, 
from the global international community, both private and public. There is um, a lot of interest, as I mentioned, uh, increasing interest in our region. So I believe the opportunity now, not least because of the pandemic, uh, is uh, very strong. And uh, a lot of uh, individual, individuals, organizations, associations, and companies and governments will be ready to support such an initiative. So uh, the important part, how to govern, uh, this is very important. We propose up to nine board members, and we propose that they are nominated uh, so that it strengthens the uh, the uh, work potential of the uh, foundation. So one member should be appointed by the governing uh, region, the governing member, and uh, I would propose that that person uh, is nominated as the chair of the Northern Forum Foundation. Secondly, there should be one member appointed by the Secretariat to ensure that the cooperation between the Foundation and the Secretariat is always optimal. And uh, it would make sense to me at least that that person would be uh, vice chair to the Northern Border Foundation. Then uh, we propose that three members should be appointed by the uh, regional governors, regional uh, committee, sorry. And uh, the RCC then uh, should look at a good geographical representation. I think this instrument will also help increase the membership. So uh, it's very important, at least for the future, to lay down the strategy as to how the membership should be uh, optimized. We also think it's very important to include members from both the business community and also from the Chambers of Commerce Forum so that uh, business partners within the Northern Forum uh, would have one representative and there would be one from the Chambers of Commerce. This should help uh, also in the fundraising. And then last but not least, uh, we propose that two members are appointed by the uh, whole community, the Northern Forum and the Northern Forum uh, Foundation. And basically, we see that all members to the Northern Forum should be automatically members to the Northern Forum Foundation. And two members should be appointed by open elections. And preferably, these should be people that bring something special to the foundation, either a uh, um, uh, strong outreach potential or, or strong business potential, etc., so that they would strengthen. And they could potentially be people from outside our um, our sort of uh, area if they can help support our mission and objectives. So um, the first uh, task then, if, if, if you agree to, to establish it, would be to, to, to establish a management team. Initially, this could be made up of myself and the director of the Northern Forum, Vladimir uh, Vasilyev to sort of set up the, the uh, operation and, and hopefully it will become strong enough so that it can uh, sustain uh, uh, separate qualified staff uh, later on. And uh, third member could be uh, appointed in a geographical context so that it would support uh, uh, the uh, operation in such regards. And uh, we should also, of course, uh, use the support and the, the outreach capacity of uh, Goodwill Ambassadors and the, the North Northern Working Groups, and uh, we will utilize events to seek funding and, and use it for public outreach campaigns. And as has been mentioned, there are very important uh, events coming up in the next two years that will be extremely strong for, for such uh, collaboration. And in Iceland, because of the pandemic, we have some uh, initiatives uh, that could also help. So if we establish this uh, sooner than later, we have the opportunity to, to use uh, these, these incentives to, to hire qualified people to work on uh, uh, the uh, guidelines and, and uh, start to establish outreach presence, etc. Which would be a very strong. So the request to the um, RCC is to approve the establishment of governance of the Northern Border Foundation. 
Uh, the Secretariat to, uh, in collaboration with the Arctic Fourth, to initiate the establishment of the Northern Forum Foundation, as per the articles uh, that we have presented, and uh, start the preparation for the first annual general meeting. Because as per the articles, we we should have an annual uh, meeting, and at that annual meeting, that we prefer to have no later than first of August uh, this year. We should uh, elect uh, the first full board and uh, adopt the operational guidelines that, that we will then have prepared for your uh, uh, approval. And this is basically my presentation. If you have any questions or comments, I'd be happy to, to uh, answer any questions. So thank you very much for your attention. Halder, thank you, Halder. Do we have any questions to the speaker? Uh, so later today, uh, uh, yes, we will, uh, today when we will be reviewing the resolution, about the foundation, and tomorrow and then, we will uh, discuss we will it at the return to it tomorrow. Now we are going so to continue. Now we are going to talk about the, the development of the Northern Thank you Forum again. and the perspective directions of cooperation. And uh, the floor goes to Tamara Mardasova, the head of Interregional Scientific, Technological, Business, and Educational Partnership, Sustainable Development of the Russian Arctic. I would like to thank the government of uh, Nenets Autonomous Okra for the uh, event organized and to thank the organizing committee of the Northern Forum, the chairmanship of uh, Russia in the Arctic Council opens uh, additional opportunities for promoting the state interests at the international level and the sustainable development of the Arctic zone of Russia is one of the priorities of our state policy. We have now listened to the presentations from our colleagues and I would like to share our modest um, experience in uh, creating uh, in 2020 on the platform of uh, uh, Russian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we held uh, the international conference on the um, Arctic shelf, uh, where we discussed a wide range of uh, issues uh, of uh, the sustainable development and on uh, widening of our cooperation and uh, introduction of uh, new practices. And uh, during these uh, five years, the participants of the conference, they wanted to reach this goal. And in 2020, they highlighted the need for a permanent uh, uh, professional platform for the discussion of topical issues of uh, Arctic development in the Russian Federation and the elaboration of practical recommendations for their implementation. And this uh, fifth international uh, conference uh, gave uh, uh, some other um, quality to the stakeholders of this Arctic development uh, but now I will maybe um, say something that you are going to discuss these days, uh, that the uh, scale and the challenges of all our problems, they require new approaches to their solution. By consolidating the efforts of um, uh, authorities, local self-governance, uh, business, education, and public organizations, including volunteers, on some um, united um, public platform. So it was um, decided to establish uh, this um, 
interregional scientific technological business and educational partnership that is called sustainable development of the Russian Arctic. And uh, uh, during the year, which was quite difficult because uh, it was uh, during the pandemic, but in spite of this, uh, this um, partnership um, had new members and we arranged uh, events online and offline with uh, more than a thousand of experts from Russian Federation and our international experts as well. I would like to share Let's get back to some slides. Okay, so this slide. In September, supported by the Council of Federation and the Chamber of Trade and Commerce, we had online first meeting that convened uh, about 400 experts that uh, gave us some guidelines. So this partnership was launched in September, I would say. In uh, uh, November, again, is a video conference together with the committee of, uh, mm, uh, of the Chamber of Trade and Commerce. And also we involved some committees from the State Duma. We arranged a round table where we discussed the uh, uh, sustainable development of the Russian Arctic challenges and opportunities. In uh, November, together with the government of Karelia, we organized international uh, conference uh, supported, with, uh, supported by the Russian Foundation for Fundamental Research. And as long as Karelia is now um, um, enlarging their territory to the Arctic zone. Also, we had some events in the Saha Republic. We met with the Minister of uh, Housing and Utilities and the Power Engineering, the Ministry for the Arctic Development and Indigenous Issues. We had uh, a, a cooperation agreement. And uh, uh, also we conducted uh, great um, analytical work. Our experts analyzed the fundamental documents. So we had to somehow coordinate the Republican and federal documents. And the result of this work was the signing of the decree by the head of uh, Yakutia. And now we can say that the partnership as a platform for international cooperation is uh, successful. Uh, sometimes you concentrate on work and, for example, the meeting of uh, uh, the meeting of these uh, chambers of trade of commerce and business associations. It is uh, now headed by Ms. Yipifanova, a senator from Komi. And we also were one of the initiators of uh, restoration of this cooperation of uh, chambers of trade and commerce. Again, I told you about uh, Karelia. Uh, in January, we signed an agreement with the National Arctic uh, Scientific and Educational Consortium in Arkhangelsk Oblast. Uh, it uh, includes uh, 48 higher education uh, institutions. And uh, for a few minutes, I just wanted to tell you about the international conference um, uh, on the sustainable development of the Russian Arctic. So what is the foundation for this partnership and uh, for it to be financially independent? 
So this is the history of our conference. We started in 2016 based uh, on Gupkin University because we discussed shelf projects and uh, uh, Novatech company uh, have been promoting their projects on liquefied gas. We are some sort of um, industrial conference. So that's why in 2021, we had uh, this uh, mixed format uh, event, some online 400 uh, experts. We had uh, 600 presentation, presentations, 13 round tables, and two uh, major um, plenaries. Again, the representatives of uh, Senate Corps of uh, the uh, Council of Federation were actively involved in our conference. Also, we had as speakers the mayors of Arctic cities. A big delegation from Saha Republic also attended um, the conference. Uh, we had uh, uh, governmental officials, hiring officials from Komi. Um, if you want to learn more about the topics of our uh, conference, you can find this information in the net. So again, we had offline and online format. Uh, here you can see the representative uh, of um, Russian Ministry of uh, Construction and uh, Housing and Utilities. And again, a very important event for us. We signed the uh, agreement of cooperation with the Northern Forum with Mr. Vasiliev, and we did it in person then with the uh, EOF Physical and Technological Institute in St. Petersburg, and also the agreement uh, with um, Arkhangelsk Unified uh, Aircraft. Uh, now we involve uh, 400 experts from all Arctic regions. Uh, we are now planning to sign the agreement with Nenets Autonomous Okrug. So here are some slides from our work. Just wanted to highlight that um, some uh, serious consortiums. This is uh, Almas Ante concern. We work closely with Rosatom. We have good relationship, business relationship with Rosneft and with Gazprom. And uh, during six years, Uh, Mr. Karchunov moderated our roundtables, and we feel his support, and thanks to him, we can attract very good international experts. So what are the results of this conference? This is a conference, it's not, uh, not uh, some exhibition. So this is uh, real work of uh, uh, serious uh, discussions. And we have been collecting the opinions uh, to uh, elaborate uh, our resolutions. Now, uh, these uh, proposals and resolutions are being discussed in the Russian uh, Ministry for the Development of the Far East and the Arctic. and. Uh, among the senators. Uh, 
Uh, this is my first time as a participant of the Northern Forum. I'm also discovering some new uh, road, and I would very much like uh, our practices and the uh, the practices that we have I would like to share to be useful for you. And uh, I would like to wish all participants and our online participants, business contacts and the plans that I have heard uh, today, I want them to be implemented. Here you can see just a few of our stakeholders and uh, each of them represent a region or a commercial company. I think it would be interesting for us to work with you and the experience that you have accumulated uh, during 30 years would be very interesting. I, I will not be here tomorrow. That's why I'm very eager to share all the information and all contacts uh, today. We are ready to share our expertise and experts and good projects. Supported by the government of Bashkortostan Republic, we are going uh, to uh, hold a um, session at the oil and gas forum. Again, I'm like more in industry. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mardasova, for your information. We hope that uh, you will uh, continue your cooperation. Now we switch to youth um, cooperation. The word goes to Savina Danilova. Uh, she's a head of partnership and accelerator programs, department of Yakutia Venture Company and the coordinator of Northern Youth Forum. Um, good afternoon. Thank you very much. General Assembly, regional coordinators, it is a great honor to uh, represent uh, you updates on the Northern Youth Forum. And taking this opportunity, I would like to thank everyone who uh, has supported the idea of creation of the Northern Youth Forum, and especially during the RCC meeting. Uh, over the 30 years history, and the Northern Forum has implemented many projects that I have made a significant uh, contribution to social and economic development of the northern regions and extension of the interregional cooperation throughout the circumpolar Arctic. And one of the long-term instruments for further development of the northern, region, uh, northern Forum and achievement of the sustainable development goals in the north and the Arctic can be International Youth Cooperation and Northern Youth Forum. Here you can see the main areas of our activities and uh, they have been created uh, during the first uh, Northern Youth Forum in September 2020. You have already seen the results of our activities in 2020 during the previous RCC meeting. And we have a lot of plans for 2021, as you may see. And uh, you, some of them will go through the uh, whole year, for example, webinars and application campaign for our team. As for the big events, we plan to organize the second Northern Youth Forum in September and Startup Forum on innovation uh, in, on innovations. Well, beginning of the 2021 was dedicated to some organizational issues like development of our documents and uh, 
discussions with uh, NF Secretariat on our initiatives and the projects. And we have already made some projects in 2021. And uh, the first project of 2021 was the Arctic Food and Knowledge Winter School, which gathered more than 100 uh, participants from different countries like Russia, Brazil, the United States, Great Britain, Uzbekistan, Mongolia, Finland, Denmark, and so on. And uh, in uh, April, we have launched uh, the series of lectures, We Are Children of the North, for uh, International Arctic School. And this, the purpose of this event is to inform the younger generations about the issues of sustainable development of the North and the Arctic. And uh, we do understand that uh, big plans require a good promotion strategy. And that is why I'd like to present you our logo. And uh, taking this opportunity, I would like to thank our colleagues from the Arctic portal, Iceland, who helped us to link our ideas uh, with the logo of the Northern Forum. On the back, you see the logo of the Northern Forum, and on the front side, you can see a symbol of flower consisted of several differently colored uh, rhombuses, and all colors have their own meanings. For example, the bright blue is for the North, cold, ocean, ice, and the deep green is for the nature, ecology, and short summer. Yellow is for the sun, happiness, and creativity. And the red, orange is for passion and energy of life. We plan to use the promotion uh, through uh, social media network, especially Facebook. And by the way, uh, please uh, join our Facebook page if you do not do so. And also we plan to use our YouTube channel. We have already on the stage of preparation of our video project with uh, the use from different countries and regions. And also we are planning to conduct many events as well as participate, participate in the events uh, of the others. And uh, to promote our activities, we are um, uh, plan to cooperate and partner with different organizations. Here you can see the organizations we work with, uh, plan to work in the nearest future. And uh, taking this opportunity, I'd like to address to regional coordinators. Uh, we encourage uh, the use of, of representatives from your regions to join our team. And we hope that you'll help, help us to attract the uh, youth from your regions. And currently the most uh, active regions are Yamal, uh, Yakutia, uh, Iceland, and Finland. And uh, please feel free to contact us and uh, have a fruitful work. And now let me give the floor to Valeria Ruzakova, founder and chairperson of the GIMO Arctic Students Club. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's also a great honor to uh, be able to represent uh, the workings of the GIMO Arctic Student Research Club. We are a student platform that um, is focusing on the Arctic since 2015 within the um, GIMO, and that is the Moscow State Institute of International Relations, the basic uh, school of uh, diplomats for the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And uh, we really uh, are uh, encouraged by the upcoming, uh, not only by uh, the workings um, of um, the Northern Forum, I should say, we've become also the uh, partners of uh, the Project Office of International Youth Cooperation, Russia Arctic Council, and this really uh, increases the amount of events we plan. And let me just uh, briefly summarize what we already have done and uh, tell you everything um, about uh, major plans for the future and hope that um, maybe this could uh, be interesting for you. Um, so uh, we, as I have already mentioned, uh, we have already had this experience of uh, uh, partnership with the Northern Forum and uh, with uh, the Northern Youth Forum. 
Uh, here is a, um, a slide on uh, the Northern Forum model we had in 2020. And this was, I think, a successful event where we had uh, youth representatives from uh, all the regions uh, where we had really fruitful discussions. We, uh, well, uh, the modeling process is well known, for example, from the um, uh, model United Nations. Here it goes quite similar, in a quite similar way. Uh, the representatives, they uh, take the roles of uh, actual representatives of uh, the, um, pa uh, the participants of the organization and they uh, mock the uh, process of negotiations. They uh, also draft a declaration or other type of final document, et cetera, et cetera. We also had these, um, educational program, which also was a great success. We had some of uh, those uh, distinguished experts I can see here uh, as our um, uh, lecturers at the model. And I think it was a great, you know, first experience. I hope that we will have uh, same things in the future and uh, hope that the amount of partners uh, will also increase maybe um, to uh, including of some of the organizations um, uh, I have honor to address here um, in maybe next um, uh, year or later. So um, now, as I have already said, uh, our club, a student organization, though had uh, become a federal partner of uh, the Project Office for International Youth Cooperation, Russia Arctic Council. And uh, here is, um, you know, um, a quite abridged um, summary on the partners. We just are in a co uh, constant uh, contact, but of course, as um, a club that acts within uh, the uh, institute that is uh, within the system of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we have this, um, um, you know, um, long uh, term cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, given that uh, uh, the um, senior Arctic official uh, gives uh, us lectures and um, participates in our student events as um, one of the you know um, main experts that uh, provides insights on the Russian uh, policy in the Arctic and also we um, have uh, some connections with uh, different expert platforms because uh, the scientific part of our work is also a major uh, thing for us. Um, and our flagship event is, of course, the Model Arctic Council. We have uh, been organizing models, uh, our Arctic Council at Ngimo since 2015. And, um, well, uh, this uh, is a very uh, big uh, thing for us because it has become best practice according to uh, the UN as their son getting started with the SDGs in Universities Handbook. And uh, we, of course, um, plan that uh, this type, this format will uh, become uh, one of the um, platforms that will gather youth uh, during the um, chairmanship of uh, Russian Federation in the Arctic Council. And uh, this project has already been included uh, in the plan of uh, the Russian uh, chairmanship. Uh, as a part of uh, the plan of the activities of the project of the Russia Arctic Council, this project of uh, youth cooperation. And of course, we have other events uh, planned. Uh, those uh, will be, um, you know, becoming larger and larger. We hope that uh, the interest to uh, Arctic events will grow. Um, we, uh, as I have already mentioned, um, organize those conferences internationally all the time. We have participants from uh, various um, Northern European countries, in, uh, Northern American countries, and uh, we hope that uh, more and more um, youth representatives from Russian regions, as well as our um, international colleagues uh, will take part in our events. Here is a little um, you know, breath. And here are our contacts. I hope that uh, this was informative um, and I will be happy to answer any possible questions. Thank you again for this wonderful opportunity. Yeah. <clears throat>
Савина, Валерия, спасибо вам. Thank you, Savina and Valeria. I would like to give the floor to Angelika Gavrilieva, the principal of Berdigistiak Secondary School from Gorny District of Yakutia. She is going to speak about the Youth Eco Forum in 2021. Good evening, dear participants of the General Assembly. Uh, my name is uh, Gavrilia Evangelika Albertovna. I am principal of the second Berdyistia Secondary School named after Afanasy Osipov. And uh, today I see many um, friends of our schools. Uh, and I say hello from Yukutia to Halder Johansson. And uh, we so glad to see you. And now um, I want to Uh, speak in Russian. Итак, наша школа, Бердигистяхская средняя школа Горного района Республики Саха-Якутия. Бердигистях Secondary School of Gorn District of Yakutia has been cooperating with the Northern Forum for uh, many years already, and our students are almost uh, annually engaged in the uh, Youth Eco Forum that uh, were organized uh, in Finland, uh, America, uh, Salihard, and Iceland. The participation in such large-scale uh, events, of course, helps uh, to shape the generation that is uh, actively works with uh, environmental issues. And... Uh, Uh, today I would like to speak about our work that was conducted by our students. This is a slide from Anchorage in the United States. Our student Dunya Burtseva uh, presented the uh, unique uh, nature of our republic and uh, 2017 at the ninth international youth eco forum arctic is our home that was organized in salihard in yamal and uh, convened uh, more than 30 youth from our republic and uh, from uh, Uh, northern regions of Russia and from Japan. Our delegation had two works. The first one is on the introduction of uh, Muscox in Tundra of Yakutia, and this work uh, received a lot of uh, support. And we even had some proposals on the exchange of experiences in breeding this unique uh, species. And uh, using this opportunity, we would like to thank the government of Yamal Nenets Autonomous Okrug um, for getting our kids acquainted with the uh, unique uh, traditions and customs of the peoples of uh, Yamal. And uh, today I'm also authorized on behalf of uh, the leader of our delegation to greet our friends who received us in Salihard. In 2018, our children participated in the work of Youth Eco Forum in Rovaniemi in Finland. Uh, and uh, the name was the Voices of Northern Regions Youth for Biodiversity Conversation. There we uh, presented four projects and uh, the kids protected, uh, uh, defended their projects um, in English, which was a very good experience for them and for us. We would also like to thank the government of Lapland for Uh, receiving our kids from a small village. The kids met uh, with the governor of uh, Lapland 
and also they got acquainted with the uh, traditions and cultures of the indigenous people of Lapland. Uh, also, in together with the Youth Eco Forum, uh, there was a um, Congress of Reindeer Herders of the World. It was also a great event that uh, convened the reindeer herders from America, Canada, Russia, and Finland, and other countries. And uh, the meeting was held in the housing of uh, um, Sami people. And it was organized by the professor of the university, Timo Koivorova. Then our delegation that included the kids from the Arctic districts of uh, our uh, republic, uh, the delegation was also invited to the Youth Eco Forum to Akureyri in uh, Iceland. Uh, we would also like to thank uh, Mr. Johansson for uh, taking active participation in uh, uh, arranging our uh, participation and it was a great honor for us to visit such a great country and to get acquainted with the traditions of Icelandic people. It convened uh, 40 kids uh, from different uh, regions and also we would like to say hello to our colleagues who always go with us, the teachers from Hantemansisk, and uh, Yamal Nenets Autonomous Okrugs. They always take part in these events. And of course, our kids are very eager to tell everybody about the work of the mayor of uh, Akureyri, here on the picture, you can see her. It was a unique experience for us, of course. So these visits, they are not just for the purpose of presenting of our projects, but our children who attended all these uh, countries, they kept in touch with their peers. And we even have a trend among our children to choose environmental issues as their future uh, profession. So these events, they greatly impact the development of personality of our children. And of course, we would like to thank the Northern Forums for supporting uh, youth and uh, children's initiatives. And we believe that such cooperation not only strengthens our friendship and cultural links, but it also broadens the uh, perspectives as um, public diplomacy, because we establish some contacts with uh, people with children and uh, we believe that in the future it will play a great role in strengthening international links and uh, i'm very hopeful that uh, these kids will grow into good uh, um, uh, adults who will take care about our environment so thank you I'm done with my presentation, and I uh, wish everybody fruitful work to the General Assembly. Thank you for your presentation. Now we have a coffee break for 20 minutes. Let's be back at uh, 4.30.
Всем подарок от Северного секретариата. Трехлетний календарь российское председательство и 30-летие <laughs> на три года. So a present from the, uh, from the Northern Forum, three-year calendar. Да. Там секретариат наш работает, ведет вот это, всю трансляцию и так далее. Переводчики тоже с Якутска работают. Добрый день, уважаемые коллеги. Выражаю сердечную благодарность Ассамблее Северного Союза. So the aim of this project was to establish the Arctic Junior Center to prepare uh, our youth for the uh, work skill um, competitions. So uh, to help uh, young people to find their career. So the relevance of this uh, competition was that, you know, this, uh, there is a work skill uh, competition. And uh, our school children uh, were not involved in this competition. So that's why uh, we, uh, we faced this necessity to establish such an educational center. And uh, this movement helped us to promote uh, working and uh, vocational professions among young people. So we developed the plan of implementing the project, uh, the concept of juniors of the Arctic project and uh, we developed the regulations of the competition. So please skip two slides. So we developed the plan of the project implementation and it is scheduled until September 2021. And in September, next September, we are going to update and prolong uh, the plan. So the uh, interim uh, results uh, of the project are as follows. They were presented uh, at the International Forum, annual International Forum, Professionals 2021. So the present and future of the Arctic. And uh, we presented uh, 13 competencies in which uh, school children competed. And these competencies, uh, they were presented not only from children from Taimir, uh, but also from other educational uh, institutions of the Arctic, of the Russian Arctic, starting from Chukot, Kato, Mormon. These uh, staff boys, uh, junior school, veterinary, financial uh, literacy, um, uh, entrepreneurship, English, uh, architecture of small forms, um, painting and basics of economics. So 
The competition involved 88 uh, students and uh, there were 78 experts. Also, 78 uh, students uh, underwent training, and uh, the uh, leaders were 13 uh, lecturers from our college. So, we developed uh, the uh, documents on all the com uh, competencies. We cooperated with other educational institutions. In Taimir, uh, we trained 78 uh, school children from 8 to 10 uh, grades. About 50% of all the 8 to 10 uh, grade students uh, received additional professional competencies. And at our college, at the training ground of our college, we uh, established the environment uh, for developing all these competencies. So this competition shows uh, how interesting uh, this work was. So uh, the participants of the workshop, uh, workshops, uh, they produced, uh, they received these uh, souvenirs. So, and uh, participants from other regions, they also received uh, all these uh, memorable uh, items. So the head of the municipality was present at the opening of our school and she uh, evaluated highly the readiness of our children to their future work. So now we are preparing the winners of our uh, municipal level to the regional competition uh, uh, of uh, regional uh, state of the world skills. So we hope that uh, the, the regional uh, Krasnoyarsk competition will be next December. So this project is uh, within the frame of the federal project, uh, Seek it to the Future. So we are going to, imply, to apply for recognizing our um, college as the platform of uh, the uh, federal uh, innovation platform. And starting from September, we will uh, begin uh, the preparation for the next contest. And we are going to include other tasks, uh, which are a part of the uh, federal strategy. So this uh, Active Junior Center uh, uh, is going to involve also parents and uh, the public and authorities and employers. And so we are going to become a, a center which is going to train specialists uh, which are who are in demand uh, for the Arctic zone of uh, our region. So when we uh, tested our children and uh, we asked them, what do you expect from the Arctic? They uh, said that only people who live in the Arctic can work in the Arctic because we are familiar with the local conditions. So of course, this is like ch uh, child talk, but uh, we hope that uh, they will keep this attitude in the future. So this project earned 590,000 rubles. So well, they we received funding and quite late. And uh, in September, we are going to buy uh, the rest of the equipment, which will help us to prepare children for the regional competition, uh, which will be held uh, in Krasnoyarsk. 
So the second project uh, ranked fourth, and this is uh, the environmental arc project. So this uh, project brought 390,000 rubles. So uh, this project is based on the existing legislation on tourism activity. So we focused uh, on the uh, federal program on development of domestic and inbound tourism in the Russian Federation uh, for the period 2019-2025. And since Taimur, when you translate it from uh, Evenki language, is uh, rich land, yes, indeed, Taimur is very rich in various resources and people and nature and uh, natural resources. And Many people living uh, in the Russian Federation have never been uh, to Taimur and uh, they don't have any idea of this land. So the project aims at the development of uh, domestic uh, eco and educational tourism. So the task was to uh, develop the network of uh, educational uh, trails and to establish uh, uh, living facilities, accommodation facilities, uh, to clean the territory and to uh, develop this uh, safe uh, touristic route. So this is the certificate for 390,000 rubles. And so this um, is used uh, for purchasing tents, which are typical of all the indigenous people living in our um, uh, territory. So we have developed uh, several stages of the project. So So uh, last March we uh, made our plan. So in, in April and May we are going to bring the equipment and materials and uh, develop the designs uh, of the tents uh, and the trail. So the second uh, stage uh, deals uh, with the educational trail, which is 40 kilometers from the city. So it's a different type of tourism. It's going to show the lifestyle of nomadic people of our region. So we have uh, a nearby uh, uh, reindeer herder who has uh, over 1,000 reindeer. So in August and September, we hope to accept our first guests. So what are our plans? So our aim is 50 tourists this year, people who will uh, visit this territory. So we are going to involve 10 volunteers and uh, these 10 people uh, will be students. So uh, during summer, uh, they are going to stay in the summer camp and to learn this, uh, to how to become guides. And also, so we are going uh, to clean the uh, territory, the central territory, the coastal uh, territory, uh, from a waste, and we're going to develop the new Ipa Trail. So here in this picture, you see our training ground. So we have these uh, small houses uh, in green, uh, where uh, students from Timur College stay. So this uh, reindeer herder, uh, who stays nearby, and so she's uh, uh, 
His facility is used for veterinary students as well. So we are going to reproduce this uh, ethnic uh, camp. So you, you see some tents and other facilities. They will be all uh, connected with uh, ethnic tourism. So I'm really happy that uh, we have uh, won this grant. So of course, this is not like a lot of money, 390,000 rubles, and they will go only for, for the big yard. Um, but we are going to find additional uh, financing. And this project allows us to start very important work. And today we already have partners of our project. And we hope that uh, this will be very creative and productive uh, activity, uh, which will contribute to the economy of our uh, crime. Unfortunately, we are not going to have any projects next year or this year, but we hope that uh, we will uh, have other projects but with the hope for the government of Krasnoyarsk, right? Which uh, most is most likely to support our project. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vera. I would like to comment. So there are two points. Uh, first of all, uh, this project involves youth who are our future because we are talking about uh, lost uh, generations that people uh, young people forget uh, their traditional trades they abandon their land and thanks to small projects like this and uh, miss Cherkasova's activity in general uh, children uh, become patriots of the uh, homeland. So I think this is the, uh, the the main result. So there is some hope that uh, young children would like to stay in their land. And so uh, we uh, questioned uh, several young people and yes, they agreed that they want to stay in their land and be part of this project. And the second thing, the success of any project uh, depends on the leader, on enthusiasm uh, of the leader. And uh, we see uh, Vera's enthusiasm. And this is not just uh, just some uh, separate activity of the college. It's actually it's integrated into the general strategy of Krasnoyarsk Krai uh, of developing tourism. And also the world skills uh, uh, movement is involved. And so college actually teaches uh, young children uh, in many uh, traditional trades and they are reviving. And we believe that uh, the college needs to uh, open branches in the remote settlements of Krasnoyarsk. So what is Taimir? Taimir? The area of Taimir is about 1 million square kilometers. This is one municipality, which is a part of Krasnoyarsk Krai. So that's why we are talking a uh, large scale. So, of course, uh, the regional government will be involved. As for other eco uh, routes, uh, we have uh, a new cruise line because we have a new uh, vessel. And the Arctic tourism, 
French Plata, Puturana uh, Plato is another tourist attraction. So, so far, uh, tourists uh, mainly come uh, to Dudinka on the vessel. And then they uh, go to Putarana, or maybe they fly to the area near Putarana and then uh, go to the vessels. So this is uh, a promising area in terms of uh, tourism development. And uh, this uh, smaller project also adds to this uh, general strategy, and we are grateful to the Northern Forum. And I think that we must uh, replicate uh, the Taimir uh, experience. And we need to support it because this uh, Taimir area is uh, really rich in traditions and skills and history. Thank you. So the next uh, project is enhancing ecosystem services through ecosystem restoration as part of uh, climate change adaptation. And so the flow goes to Tatiana Minaev uh, from Ugra State University. Uh, thank you, colleagues. Uh, thank you for the support uh, of our project. And uh, uh, I'm impressed uh, with the General Assembly in Yanis Autonomous Okrug and in general uh, with the activities of the Northern Forum. And I'm also really impressed with the Paimir uh, project because I was born in Marisk and I worked in Yugra. So I'm very happy to see how uh, Arctic is developing. So Yugra State University uh, focuses on uh, restoration of ecosystems uh, because the government of Hantimansi Autonomous Okrug is working together with the scientific community, with the university on uh, restoration and preservation of natural ecosystems. So they involve us uh, in the interaction with uh, the business community. So some words about the background of the project. So we have uh, partners, many uh, autonomous uh, or group. So we see uh, the member of the, from Ruslan Bisako from Kanor. And in many autonomous Okrug uh, initiated this work on restoration of natural ecosystems. Uh, uh, ruined uh, during uh, industrial exploration. So we know that uh, there is some in, such as notion is accumulated uh, environmental damage. So uh, large areas were uh, altered due to the human activities during the prospecting or exploration of natural resources in the Soviet period. And many of these uh, lands uh, were not recultivated, and they uh, make great uh, danger. And uh, because the, these are the places where uh, permafrost starts uh, melting, and they also affect uh, the climate uh, through the uh, greenhouse gases emission, uh, which are stored in the permafrost. Also, tundra is home to indigenous peoples of the north. Tundra uh, supports unique uh, natural functions because uh, not only greenhouse uh, gases 
And in its uh, natural state, uh, Tundra uh, provides many ecological services. And uh, this uh, damaged land, this uh, damaged surface, when it is intact, the surface, it protects uh, permafrost from melting. But uh, with the uh, ruined surface, uh, uh, it starts melting. And so we see that over 1,500 gigatons of uh, greenhouse uh, gases are stored uh, in uh, permafrost. So when they, they start emitting into the atmosphere, so in Nyanyin's autonomous work uh, several years ago, we had a pilot project on restoration of natural ecosystems. And uh, we would like to spread this uh, experience uh, to other regions. And we would like to introduce into business practice. So how is it possible? Uh, we all know uh, about mitigation hierarchy, so, and it includes uh, the pyramid of measures to mitigate uh, the impact. So this is the uh, restoration of the ecosystem or offsets uh, or mitigation of the impact. So any ecosystem uh, provides a number of uh, ecosystem services. So they are traditionally divided into uh, cultural uh, rest restoration and supporting. But uh, we can uh, view them as a uh, some services on the support of uh, biota, land, air, and water. So if business affects the uh, ecosystem, then these services are not provided. But if businesses restore ecosystems, they can uh, report on the restoration of uh, biodiversity and on the on um, carbon balance. So carbon projects and carbon polygons uh, are a very popular topic now, so that's uh, what we do also do. So what are our tasks? So now we are reviewing the international experience from restoration of uh, and Russian experience uh, of uh, restoring ecosystems. So it's uh, not well developed, not only in the Russian Federation, but also in all Arctic countries. So uh, very little is discussed about the restoration of damaged lands. So it's going to be a very good contribution into the Northern Forum Working Group activities uh, on um, both environmental and cultural issues because ecosystem uh, is uh, a part of uh, social uh, systems as well. Also, we are going to review what impedes the restoration of natural ecosystems uh, in the uh, subsurface uh, resources use. So that's why next June we are going to have a meeting uh, with the field symposium in Hantimansk uh, in late June. So, and uh, we are going to share the information on restoration of ecosystem, we are going to publish a booklet and we are going to set a website. And also we are developing a master's uh, program at Ugra State University. 
So I think we uh, we can share some elements of our programs and uh, with other educational institutions to be part of their master's programs. So in our application, we mentioned Surgut uh, Neftigas, but most likely it's going to be Gazprom uh, Taimir. Uh, and also we uh, think that this project would work in Hampton Mansi Autonomous Okrug. And uh, representatives from uh, Hampton Mansi Autonomous Okrug are coming to us to learn our experience. And these are several events we are going to attend. This first one is launch events of ecosystem restoration uh, about the UN decade. Also, uh, we are going to have a live stream from Marianne Mar during the International uh, Congress on the Restoration of Ecosystems in June. So, as uh, our presentation is scheduled for June 11th, uh, we don't have uh, much to show so far. Also, there will be a six-foot uh, uh, symposium, uh, West Siberian uh, People and Center Urban Cycle. So please uh, join us, uh, register. Thank you for your attention and thank you for the support of our idea. Uh, thank you. Do we have any comments? I have brought some uh, sources. So it's a booklet on uh, the restoration of uh, uh, damaged lands. So we prepared them uh, during our previous project. So we have a large-scale project in Chukotka and in Taimir, uh, large-scale uh, construction project. So our task for the Northern Forum was to focus uh, on uh, environmental restoration uh, after these projects, recultivation of lands. So I think um, the Northern Forum uh, could uh, attract the attention of uh, authorities to this issue. Also, just a comment. During the uh, diesel leak in Primer, our university signed an agreement with the uh, Norilsk Energy Company. So if you have uh, any useful practices, how to implement such projects so you can address uh, Siberian Federal University. So it's a possibility to implement uh, your um, some achievements uh, in time. So our uh, next project is new cities in the old land. So Elena Minikova, director of the Museum Association of Minutes Autonomous Okrug. Dear colleagues, uh, welcome on Nenets uh, land. So I'm going to talk about our project, which was supported by the uh, Northern Forum. 
So our project focuses on the divide between the historical heritage and the present. So we have uh, actually many uh, cities uh, in the world which uh, were founded in uh, the 20th century. So we have such many of such uh, town cities uh, in Chukotka, in Taimir, uh, and uh, in the Northern Europe. And people who live in uh, cities uh, like this, and people, for example, here in, like here in Myanmar, uh, we are all newcomers. So probably uh, our grandparents came. So we are detached from the heritage of the territory where we live. So this uh, problem with the divide and how to overcome this divide, uh, we want to solve this uh, problem. So, and we can uh, use art to overcome this divide. So, Narianmar is quite a new town. And the older capital was Pustazyorsk. And uh, people, even in Narianmar, people don't know about this uh, town, and uh, let alone uh, the entire world. So uh, we want to um, use uh, the artists to overcome this divide between the oldest, one of the oldest towns uh, in the history of the, one of the old uh, towns uh, in the Arctic. So our partners are um, the Museum Association, so what are the results? So in late August or early September, uh, we are going to invite six artists from Yamala Ninets Autonomous Okrug and uh, Yamak, Yamala Ninets Autonomous Okrug and from the Netherlands. Uh, well, uh, probably the artists from the Netherlands are not coming due to the lockdown. But we have uh, an agreement uh, with the Netherlands that even if we don't bring their works uh, or them uh, this year, we will bring them later. So we have uh, artists from uh, art from Marianmar, on people from the Netherlands. So we are going to receive six pieces of art, uh, which will uh, lay the foundation for the exhibition, which uh, will be a traveling exhibition. Uh, it will be opened uh, in Salihar uh, uh, next uh, January. So these are like outreach projects uh, with the local communities. So uh, not only showing some pieces of art, but also provoking discussions with the communities. So we want to unite uh, creative people we want, we want to involve uh, over 1,000 works of art uh, into educational uh, circulation, academic circulation. So far, we uh, sent uh, and share um, examples of material and uh, poetic uh, culture of uh, Nunez people. 
but we want uh, to have long-term uh, relations and uh, within this uh, public program during these exhibitions we want to receive new proposals new ideas how to improve living of people in new cities in new towns so probably meetings with local communities with local authorities and we hope that um, uh, we will be able to establish uh, connections uh, with new regions including the northern forum so what are the problems so besides the lockdown well, uh, another challenge is that uh, we don't have enough funding. Um, so we are looking for additional financing. So we have applied to the uh, Russian World Foundation and the decision will be made in late May. And uh, so we ask uh, the Northern Forum to support our project in the uh, Russian World Fund because our project, I think, can be uh, uh, re uh, reproduced in other uh, regions of the Active Forum. And also we have um, established good connections uh, with the Netherlands Embassy in Moscow. So they understand uh, the potential of the project and uh, we hope that uh, when the things settle, uh, the exhibition uh, will travel to the Netherlands and will also uh, show our active heritage. So the general consulate uh, delegation visited us uh, in March. And so uh, during four days, they uh, saw Marian Mark and Pustazors, and they were impressed with uh, reindeer uh, races and riding and snowmobiles. And we saw that the Dutch people uh, actually saw so that this is our actual joint uh, heritage because uh, many Dutch uh, travelers and explorers uh, visited uh, the northwest uh, of uh, Russia. So, so, so far, we have uh, compiled the list of the artists and uh, we uh, get them acquainted. So we had this online meeting so, and the artists uh, presented uh, their works. They work in uh, different techniques. So they work not only uh, like in traditional techniques, not on, they are not only painters or so we have some of them work in very modern techniques with installations uh, uh, with like flash mobs and happenings so we don't uh, limit the artists uh, involved in the projects by any uh, boundaries uh, we want to receive a piece of art from uh, each artist and we hope that uh, all all the pieces uh, uh, will be inspired by the heritage and will be very modern at the same time. So uh, we are working on historical research and also we are preparing art residences in Marianmar and uh, in Puskozersk. So we need your support and I think uh, other territories, uh, for other territories, it will be an interesting project. And, 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 and actually it can be implemented anywhere. So if we manage to, uh, to work with the Netherlands and then we will reach the Barents uh, area and uh, other um, active countries in the 
in uh, Northwest Europe. And I think it will be interesting uh, for other regions of the Northern Forum because uh, the divide between the heritage and uh, identity is very wide and uh, people want to, to find uh, this peculiarity of their homelands and culture is a resource uh, which uh, must be used, heritage must work. So there is a message in the chat for you. Да, и, конечно, можно использовать финансовые возможности и норвежского оборудованного секретариата, и, по всей видимости... Yes, we can use also the uh, Barents Secretariat, uh, the Barents Council uh, Secretariat uh, platform. So first we would like to uh, work with the regions we have already started. Because the uh, inclusion of uh, new um, artists uh, makes the work more complicated. Because uh, the more uh, people involved, the more complicated it becomes. So, uh, so far, uh, we would like to accomplish our projects uh, in this circle, and then we will see. We have the two uh, projects from the Arctic Council Sustainable Development Working Group. So the first project is Children of the Arctic, and it will be presented by Sergei Nyuskoy, first deputy minister for the Arctic Development and Indigenous Affairs. Uh, good afternoon. I'm going to talk about the participation of our Republic in the Children of the Arctic International Project, uh, which is implemented by the Federal Agency for Ethnic Affairs, Association of the Indigenous Peoples of the North, uh, uh, in five uh, subjects of the Arctic uh, part of Russia. <laughs> So Yakutia initiated the establishment of uh, net cooperation based on international Arctic uh, school. So what are the purposes? Uh, the purposes are increased level of satisfaction of the population, uh, provision of school education for all children uh, of preschool age. It's a new system of early support rehabilitation of children with special educational needs, an increased salary of teaching staff and improved conditions for a comfortable stay in the north. So the implementation of international projects for the development of first languages, uh, teacher of the Arctic, digital school of the Arctic, nomadic school, recreation of children in the Arctic, municipal children's taking part, and support center for supplementary education for children in youth. So the Institute of National Schools uh, of the Sahara Republic uh, has done a lot on uh, improving uh, uh, the commands of uh, languages and uh, developing uh, the hybrid forms of nomadic education. Uh, in uh, Yukutia, Amur Oblast, Amur Dalgana, Nenets, uh, of Krasnodar's Cry, and uh, preparation of methodological uh, documents. Uh, in St. Petersburg, uh, our um, governor, Isaac Nikolaev, made a presentation on socio-economic development of the active zone of the Russian Federation until uh, 2035. Uh, this April, the Russian government uh, 
uh, approved the fundamentals of the state policy of the Russian Federation in the Arctic until 2025, and strategy for the development of the Arctic zone of the Russian Federation and ensuring national security until 2025. So these documents uh, include uh, some uh, measures on uh, education of indigenous people, including the um, children of the Arctic portal, and uh, various um, mobility programs for children from the Arctic. So now we have uh, the, uh, another uh, item included, and I asked uh, the Northern Forum to support this. So there are uh, five areas. And uh, the federal agency for ethnic affairs uh, hopefully uh, will uh, approve all the initiatives from active regions. So the children of the Arctic is a priority project for the Northern Forum, and it is um, under the uh, educational and uh, education and science uh, working group. So the uh, aim of this project is uh, promotion, accumulation, and uh, structuring of all projects under the name uh, children of the Arctic. So the, uh, the action plan will be approved uh, next June. Thank you. So our next uh, speaker is um, Anatoly Zhozhikov, head of UNESCO chair from Amosov Northeastern Federal University, who is going to talk about digitalization of uh, linguistic and cultural heritage of the indigenous peoples of the North. Uh, good afternoon, dear participants of the General Assembly. I'm going to share my presentation now. We started the implementation of this project in 2011. by UNESCO chair of uh, NEFO. Last uh, October, we, uh, we received the status of the Arctic Council project. So here we see the distribution of indigenous peoples of the North in the Arctic zone of the world. So, So our aim is to present all the uh, indigenous communities on our portal. So our uh, project goal is to create a multicultural internet portal on the languages, cultures, and food heritages of the indigenous people of the Arctic. So the purpose is also to preserve uh, this uh, linguistic and cultural heritage and to develop uh, the linguistic uh, map to find, uh, to navigate uh, the search of the information. So the project is scheduled for four years. So the main stage uh, 
2021-23, and it will be concluded uh, in four years. So uh, the uh, most active uh, participants are the Russian Federation, uh, uh, Norway, and also uh, Raipon. So the first stage was actually Arctic indigenous languages and uh, revitalization. And this project has uh, many uh, um, implementers. So six countries, uh, seven universities, educational institutions and uh, academic institutions. So uh, they have uh, regular meetings. So the result will be the map of the indigenous peoples of the Arctic. And the next project is feasibility study on co-production of knowledge between researchers and the indigenous communities for climate change adaptation. It's a joint project with Finland and Norway. Uh, and uh, also a project on uh, indigenous foods uh, together with uh, Raipon. In January, we had the first uh, meeting on the project implementation, and uh, in February, we had the meeting of the Sustainable Development Working Group uh, with some preliminary reports. So what is the project output? So with the use of uh, new technologies, we must receive uh, 3D models of cultural historical sites and um, other data. So I would like to run the, the presentation, but okay, let's skip it. So the Arctic Council has 16 uh, projects and six of them are um, submitted by the Russian Federation, including uh, our project. So our project uh, is going to become one of the major uh, Russian projects for the coming few years. So we have uh, been working closely with the Northern Forum since 2018. So our first decision was uh, a project on studying the climate change. Also, we uh, cooperated uh, on organizing the Northern Sustainable Development Forum. And now we uh, organize uh, the work of two sections. This uh, human adaptation in the Arctic and preservation of linguistic and cultural heritage of the indigenous peoples of the North uh, under globalization. So I want to our cooperation with the Northern Forum uh, be continued. So we ask the Northern Forum to help us uh, to find foreign partners for our project and also to support uh, our project uh, financially. Thank you for your attention. And now we have one more presentation. Sargulana Ignatieva, Director of the Arctic State Institute of Culture and Arts, on the possibility of publishing the Arctic Culture and Art magazine. 
under the auspices of the Northern Forum. Можно, да? Добрый день, уважаемые участники 14 Ассамблеи Северного Форума. Good afternoon, dear participants of the General Assembly. First of all, I would like to thank the leadership of the Northern Forum and Mr. Vasiliev in person for supporting, thanks to which today we can present our magazine, Arctic Art and Culture. It uh, first was published in 2015 under the initiative of Mr. Borisov, the then head of Yakutia and the deputy chair of our government, Ms. Gabushova, at our institute, the um, Arctic State Institute of Culture and Arts. We established the International Center of uh, Culture and Arts, uh, which started to publish this uh, magazine the Arctic Art and Culture. Today, this uh, magazine is a um, scientific and uh, popular um, magazine that is published uh, in uh, Russian and uh, English from the northerners of the Arctic for the readers uh, in the rest of the world. First, the magazine at the, uh, the modern stage is um, some sort of a platform for intercultural communication of the leading uh, scientists um, studying the Arctic. The reader, uh, the reader can uh, hear some uh, fundamental scientific ideas of uh, the scholars and uh, get acquainted with the new creative uh, ideas and approaches in art uh, education and some innovative trends of modern Arctic art. Uh, we also acquaint our uh, uh, readers with uh, uh, creative industries, uh, youth projects, but our main goal, the fundamental goal is uh, that uh, we have to preserve and develop the uh, cultural heritage of Arctic and Northern peoples. Also, this is a um, some sort of a growing point for the inspiring ideas and initiatives of Arctic and uh, geocultural space. It is very important that today um, uh, we are establishing interesting partnerships and uh, making friends from various countries of the world and uh, different uh, uh, cities of our country. They work as the contributors to the magazine and then the scientific and uh, educational uh, group of our magazine includes uh, the Russian uh, State Institute of the Arctic uh, Arts and Culture. And then our very reliable partner is St. Petersburg State University. Our uh, editor is uh, Nadezhda Harlampiva, the um, assistant uh, professor of the uh, world politics department department. And also we have partnerships uh, with the Department of International Humanitarian Relations and Department of Foreign Languages in International Relations. Uh, we annually hold a roundtable in St. Petersburg State University that brings together the uh, uh, researchers of the Arctic from all over the world. So our ma uh, main uh, perspective is the values of um, a geocultural 
identity of uh, Arctic and Northern peoples. Here you can see the three issues of our magazine. Uh, now we are working on the fourth issue. We tell about uh, the new trends of various uh, kinds of art. Also, we touch upon such uh, topics as the games and sports of the Arctic peoples, uh, then the organization of uh, various events, then the phenomenon of the Arctic intercultural society in the area of uh, digitalization. Space of understanding the um, cold regions of the Arctic, the centers for tangible and intangible heritage of the Arctic and the others. As I have already said, uh, uh, we have editors from our uh, institute from St. Petersburg University and also the editorial um, uh, that uh, includes uh, um, different people from uh, art uh, and from some uh, governmental agencies as well. We see that uh, in the future our magazine will become a decent platform for uh, communication between the peoples of the Arctic around a very important topic of preserving cultural heritage and development of culture and art of creative industries in the Arctic. And uh, in this regard, I would like to ask the participants of the assembly to uh, make uh, our magazine a full-fledged uh, project of the Northern Forum to become a platform for international communication. And we want to ask the Northern Forum to become one of the major platforms and the organization that would promote our magazine and our Arctic Institute into the global cultural and educational space and for our magazine to be uh, published under the auspices of the Northern Forum. Thank you, uh, Ms. Uh, Ignatieva. If there are any comments. I have a question. From the point of view Yes, it is uh, uh, understood that uh, we can publish a magazine under the auspices of the Northern Forum. But uh, can this magazine become some sort of a public outreach for the Northern Forum to become some uh, major source of information in terms of culture and art of the Arctic? Uh, I'm asking this because I have been working in science for many years. I know quite a lot about uh, publishing uh, magazines and making some collections of different articles. And so um, this is why I'm asking whether it would be possible to use this magazine as a platform for the Northern Forum promotion and uh, if we want to tell about the goal and mission and uh, some achievements of the Northern Forum, then here you will have to cooperate with the Board of Governors and the Executive Director. Are you ready for uh, such uh, a step? Yes, we are ready. We are basically here for this purpose, because we think that this magazine could uh, uh, indeed become a magazine 
could become a part of Web of Science and Scopus. If we support you, uh, uh, you will become even better. But uh, the question is whether you will be an official part of the Northern Forum and you will uh, act in compliance with the mission and goals and objectives of the Northern Forum. Yes, we, I think we can become an official platform for um, promoting the ideas and uh, uh, initiatives of the Northern Forum in creative industry, in arts and culture. I just wanted to clarify, uh, this is the first time I have heard uh, um, about this uh, magazine. I think it's a unique uh, magazine. How do you uh, distribute uh, your magazine and how do you plan to reach for the Arctic uh, regions and other northern territories? Maybe Ms. Harlampiva could uh, tell in more detail. Well, uh, good afternoon. I'm uh, glad uh, to be here today, and I would like to thank the Northern Forum and the staff of uh, the Arctic Institute of Culture and Arts. Since 1997, I've been working on international cooperation in the Arctic, and now I work at St. Petersburg University. And uh, also, I worked uh, uh, in the Northern Forum and in the administration of St. Petersburg. I can remember the uh, years of development of the Northern Forum led by the governor of St. Petersburg and the president of uh, Yukutia. And uh, this scientific and practical nature of our magazine, it uh, basically stems from the Northern Forum mm, and uh, being uh, this, um, the um, organizer of this magazine. I want this magazine to become a publication that uh, showcases the practices from the Russian Arctic. Uh, when I worked in the Northern Forum, we had uh, uh, major uh, project uh, programs. We involved the University of uh, Lapland and Tima Yokola um, was a contributor to our magazine and also some colleagues from the United States. Then uh, we focused on uh, uh, the documents of uh, Taimir Local or Museum then uh, Shamanovsky Museum, and um, I had visited your museum today in the morning, and uh, I think that the materials from your museum could be published in um, our magazine. Also, I worked with the Chukotka Museum, and uh, we get a great potential, and uh, we want it to be scientific and practical, and uh, if we want to be a part of a web of science in English, and uh, we have a team of uh, translators from St. Petersburg University, and the designer works in Moscow. So the question is that um, under the leadership of the governors, it could become an um, outreach platform for the Northern Forum. It's a very practical issue, but if we want to have be rated, then we have to have show very good results of our work with some museums, etc. I think that uh, these uh, uh, magazines, uh, they are um, they are in great demand, and when we prepare an issue, we bring together a team of contributors from 
uh, different uh, departments of different universities and the experts, they assess our magazine. I think that this is a very good uh, practice that we have had since 2015. And the evolution of this uh, uh, magazine is now reaching for the UNESCO because some of our experts, they are some of those who promote the ideas of uh, cultural heritage and intercultural communication and uh, tangible and intangible heritage. So we're not just collect and show some materials. We also uh, evaluate uh, these uh, projects. They go through uh, quite uh, tough expertise. We use it in our educational programs. And so all the practices uh, that are organized in Russian and international Arctic. Um, uh, they uh, help us to create a great uh, potential for um, our educational uh, sphere. We have students from different regions of the world. And even some of our master students I take them to the archives of uh, St. Petersburg. And they work with the archives from the 1920s and 1930s. So this is a platform which can bring together a lot of interesting ideas and thank you for your attention and we are glad to cooperate with the northern forum uh, now we are closing uh, and uh, if you produce a mobile app it would be a product of great demand You can see uh, all three issues on the website. Uh, now I'm asking the regional coordinators. Uh, we have a dinner at 7 p.m. And I think that uh, we will leave uh, from the hotel at uh, a quarter to seven. <laughs>